You do not give a child the internet in their pocket. Social psychologist Jonathan Haidt from NYU, he's one of the few NYU professors that isn't completely insane, uh, he had four guidelines for helping young people deal with this digital madness. And I thought this would be something that, that you could do in your own life if you have kids or even for yourself that might be good to disconnect us from some of the madness. One, no smartphone before 14. You can give them a flip phone, you send them out, give them a phone so you can, a flip phone so you can text them, they can text you, call if they need to. But you do not give a child the internet in their pocket where strangers can reach them and they can watch beheading videos. You don't give that to a child to have with them all the time. Number two, no social media until 16. The kids say this themselves, 18 year olds say this. They wish that this didn't exist, but they're stuck, they're trapped on it. So how about we just delay it till 16? Just don't let, ch don't let children go through puberty on social media. That's the really vulnerable time. Third norm, phone-free schools. Imagine, for those of you who went to school before the internet, imagine that the school had a new rule. You can bring in your television from home, you can bring in your walkie-talkies, you can bring in your record player, put it all on your desk, we'll give you an outlet, and you can do that during class while the teacher's talking. This is complete insanity, but that's what we've done. That's what we've done. Any school that lets kids have the phone in their pocket, you know, my kids went to New York City public schools, and the rule is you can't take out your phone during class, which means that you have to hide it in, behind a book or under your desk if you want to text and watch video and watch porn, which the kids do. The fourth norm is far more independence, free play, and responsibility in the real world, just like everyone had until the 1990s. There can't be an adult guarding them all the time until they go to college. All right, so I know this is, it seems like a bit of a big jump to end a show with, right? We're talking about huge worldwide problems and deep corruption and media lies and all of those things. Um, but it all, that all kind of sits on the back of the misinformation and the confusion. I don't like the phrase misinformation, but the confusion that young people now have as it pertains to anything that is true or false or what real history is or anything else. And it's because we've put the most powerful technological tool in their pocket and said, have at it. And then guess what? A whole bunch of nefarious forces, just like the nefarious forces that work in our mainstream media lie to us, a whole bunch of nefarious forces are filling up their brains with bad things. Hey, don't click away just yet because today's video is brought to you by our friends at 1775 Coffee. Guys, instead of waking up tomorrow morning and drinking your mold infested, big corporation owned woke ideology coffee that's probably making you sick from the pesticides it's sprayed with, Try Rumble 1775 Coffee. Support freedom of speech and build a parallel economy that actually values you. Go to 1775 Coffee right now and pick up your first bag. Use code RUBIN to save 10% off your first order.